Hi, I'm Jay Nog, and welcome to Positive News. Last night in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, two white police officers pulled over a black man driving a Mercedes Benz. One of the white officers got out of the car and shot the black man with silly string to congratulate him on his perfect driving record for the past 25 years and being a pillar in the community. In fact, police all over the country are trying to make a conscious effort to change their image, to make the general public forget about this and think of this. That's right, cops are getting in shape by going to the local gym and ditching donut shops in favor of kale and smoothie shops. The streets are gonna be much safer now because they're gonna be able to catch up to anyone and not have to use their guns. So that's what it was? That's all it was. They were using their guns too much because they were out of shape. The leader of North Korea, Kim Jong-un, says that North Korea has a cure for almost every disease, including ALS, cancer, and AIDS. When he found out the United States had legalized gay marriage, he said he's going to immediately work on a cure for gay. Our field reporter Mike Vecchione is on the scene right now with a breaking story. Hi, I'm Mike Vecchione for Positive News. I'm field reporting here in Lower Manhattan, and I have with me store owner, Abby. Hey, Abby, hello. Okay, this is Abby. Abby has a store. He's a convenience store. How long have you owned the store, Abby? I've owned the store 35 years. 35 years. Yes. And what's been happening to you in the past six months? Every single night, night after night, I get robbed. I close up shop at 2 a.m. I come here, my store gets robbed night after night after night. I don't know what's going on. And the one morning I come in, brand new sign. We've managed to locate the robber and get his view on things. How are you, sir? I'm very good. Now, why did you rob this man's store? Because I'm in there every day getting coffee, getting muffins, and the sign is disgusting, and he is so cheap. Finally, I just said, I'm going to rob this guy a few times and then pay for a new awning, a new sign outside his store. So you're looking for neighborhood improvement. That's right. Well, that's the story, everybody. A robbery turned Robin Hood. This is Positive News. I'm Mike Vecchione reporting from the field. And now to Don Johnson with the weather. Looks like nothing but clear skies for the weekend. Today is going to be a high of 80, mostly sunny. Tomorrow, high of 80. And Sunday, you guessed it, high of 80. And finally in local news, uh, youngster Thomas Mitchell hit six home runs in a Little League game over the weekend at Corona Park, which shattered the previous record of three home runs. After the game, it was revealed he is an avid steroids user, and he also swapped all the other team's yellow Gatorade with his urine. What? Who? Uh, that's uh, all the time we have today for Positive News. I'm Jeff Cerulli. Thank you.